All right, we are live-ish, live, live-ish. It is not live on the internet. The upload speed was not reliable, but this is the first time you're watching it. Hello, welcome to day one of Kolsch Cup 2024. If you're new around here, we are Homebrew Happy Hour. Uh, we do a podcast every week. We also have a lot of content at youtube.com forward slash homebrew happy hour. And um, that, that's really about it. And we also have these nice new Kolsch Cup 2024 shirts that all of us but Todd are wearing. Uh, but you're in your nice homebrew happy hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you look sharp. Anyways, we are so happy to have you. Thank you for joining us. And especially thank you to all those who entered. As you can see below me and below the group two over there, we've got... Um, like we've done in years past, when we are judging, we do it uh, on screen. Uh, you'll hear both of our, our tables are mic'd. On screen, you'll see who whose entry we're judging at what time. So that way, if it's yours, it's based off your registration number, totally anonymous. We don't know your registration number or anything, but you can see the things we have to say. All good things, probably. We'll try not to make faces. We've done that in the past before, mostly Todd. Uh, but this is all about us having fun. We're, uh, we're very excited, and like I said, we're so happy that you would join us here at youtube.com forward slash homebrew happy hour guys before i get into kind of the the baseline stuff and we start opening beers and judging that a little bit of housekeeping since i've got y'all's attention uh, is it on the screen there we go this month hey if you want to brew with us go to patreon.com forward slash homebrew happy hour join the recipe receiving tier and this month for the month of april you're getting an english brown ale it is delicious uh we have brewed it before and i'm looking forward to having it on tap my pop and i will be brewing it on Brew Day Live later this month. And uh, Todd, are you going to be brewing it too? Or you're not, right? You're, you're Brown Hill? Yeah. Well, you, I mean, I'm just saying, I don't know when you have time to brew. Uh, yeah, I can't brew right now. Because then we're going to a Craft Brewers Conference. Yeah. Yeah, there's just a lot going on. But anyway, uh, patreon.com forward slash homebrew happy is also how you can support what we're doing at any level. But if you look at the tiers and all that, the best bang for your buck is absolutely the recipe receiving tiers. Even at, if you want it every month for 50 bucks, good luck finding premium recipes for 50 bucks a month. That includes uh, grains from Muntins, uh, hops from hopsdirect.com, and liquid yeast from Imperial Yeast. Those that, that yeast especially, that's not cheap stuff if you're trying to get it at a retail store. That's not cheap. So again, Patreon. Good stuff, though. Yeah, the good, good, the, the good, the good, good. But uh, so, Kohl's stuff, what is it? Well, we tricked 23 of you guys uh, in order <laughs> to send us your Kohl's in two cans. Most of them are 12-ounce increments, and we are judging them as groups. So Wes and I will be judging as group one, and we have 11 to judge today. And Todd and James will be judging group two. Y'all have 12 to be judging. We have uh, the scorecard available at KohlschCup.com if you want to keep up with the criteria. I just stole it from BJCP, so we're using their criteria. It's ultimately... Uh, 50 possible points we um we you'll you'll see when you get it what we're judging off of aroma appearance flavor mouthfeel and the overall impression and if there's any descriptors that apply on the left here we get that too oh and gracie's here with us hey sweetie <laughs> Somebody stepped on her, I guess. Yeah. She stepped on your dog. <laughs> if anyone's going to do it, it's your, yeah, it's the owner. Um, now, we, as Group One, Wes, you're going to be grabbing our beer, and you'll be grabbing it on the right side there on the inside lane. James, I think you're probably grabbing your beer in the grouping here on the left. You'll figure it out. They're paired up. But as we bring it to the table, we'll announce which one we're judging. I'll update it on the, the screen here, and uh, we're going to have fun for the next 90 minutes or so. So let me unmute unmute the table mic put this down because i don't need it anymore and um let's start judging all right y'all grab the first beers oh and while they're grabbing the first beers let me show you what the grand champion is going to be awarded tomorrow look at this thing eh? that's that's the size of my head clap a big head and then we also have third place trophy <laughs> and second place trophy it's going to be it's going to be fun shipping these out so uh what number do we have Mr. we're starting with kc111 uh, we are KC11. What are you guys? 128. 128. Oh, and the intro yeast came in just now. No way. All right. Thank you. And again, big, I mentioned them, but big thanks to our sponsors, not only the podcast, but everything we do. HopsDirect.com, Muntins Malt, and Imperial Yeast. We literally couldn't do what we do without them, and we appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. There we go. That's very well carbonated. Guess. <laughs> Very, it's beautiful, especially this beautiful stung of blood. We are using our homebrew happy hour stanges. Hang on, yep, 
Yeah. And you get uh, you get to keep one of those too. Wes. That's right, Wes. Yeah, oh, I will take this home. Pride. You Absolutely, mm-hmm. you get a shirt, you get that, but that's it. That's all. That's all. <laughs> Over here. Oh, I got tickets. Okay, let's do, let's stick around and try. Go down. Yeah. First off, Karen's pale. I want you to say this. I'm one eleven. One eleven. Okay. Let's see. One eleven. Okay. The bottle. Mm. Appropriate. Make sure the microphone yeah. smells like a Kolsch. Mm-hmm. What would you? I would say it's a little hot forward in the smell. But what am I getting? What's that? Like? You get a lot of fruit in that one. Fruit, a little yeasty, but I definitely get the fruit. Maybe, yeah, you're right. Maybe some esters. Like, I mean, again, the style calls for it. Yeah, yeah. No, within range for sure. It's a nice pale color. It's a little cloudy. I was going to say it's hazy. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not super clear. Right. Well, well this one is full. Oh. Oh, it's so loud. It's so clear, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That, the appearance, I think we've done this when we did the Alpo call and we did Cole Shep last time, where only three points is so hard because it's not a one. Yeah, no. It's and it's not a three, not. so it's got to be a two. It's got to be a two. Yeah. Yeah. Or it could be a 2.5. No decimals. No, I, I read there. the rules. Uh, you, they're not in, it's for the, not in there. For the sake, uh, sake of continuity, please, sir. <laughs> See if it sticks the sun. Yeah, it won't. <laughs> I would say that's also very well carbonated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hail blinds. Yeah, fantastic head retention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Would you say like yeah. sweet? It is on the sweeter side. Yeah. This is just, this is on the dry it's side. Still it's still delicious. Mm-hmm. Man. Mm. I'm telling you the taste of that. <laughs> so I told the guys beforehand, the bottom line here is about one and a half ounces. I measured it. I was wholly heartedly expecting Todd to pour to the top line. Though. And then by the way. Jay poured it for me. I would have. Oh, good. Thank you, James. <laughs> He's a son. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Sweet and fruity mm-hmm. is what comes to the forefront of my tongue. The hops really didn't come out there. No, no, no. You're right. Don't it was more much. of a smell than it yeah, was. Yeah, there's some of the aroma. Yeah. A little sweet and fruity is what my dad called me when I was growing up. <laughs> well, at least he called you. Yeah, That's at least good. he called. <laughs> <laughs> and the sweetness, not they're not talking bad about this, but the sweetness lingers a little too long. For mm-hmm. me, like on the side yeah. of my mouth. Kind of coats the yeah, yeah, just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Not bad, though. No, no, no. no. I would drink it. Definitely. Oh, my gosh. It's definitely yeah. drinkable. I'm hoping this is like the last competition with the Alt Pokal, where all of them were just bangers. And yeah. like, not yeah. a bad beer. That's just... <laughs> I'd, be, I'd, I'd love to know. I can't. Be certain what hot that is, but mm. it's good. Yeah, that's right. I don't feel pretty creamy. Yeah, yeah. And for a style that's not, I mean, uh, y'all know it better than me. And if when I say something stupid, correct me and correct me harshly. But this isn't a style known for 
body, right? I mean, it's not supposed to be bodied as much as like more smooth or would you argue that? No, I think definitely the body should be minimal. Yeah. Just almost, a l- not quite thin, but yeah. almost there. Well, I always say my favorite Kolsch is like drinking a cloud. Like that's what I want for yeah. the Kolsch. Yeah. Like, it should be crisp, yeah. finish. Crisp. Yeah. No, no, no aftertaste there. If anything, just a little bitterness. What I like. Now, now um, to me, would you call this a, a slightly astringent or am I using that word wrong? Like the, like, um, I guess that's probably the fruit that I'm actually getting and I'm calling yeah. it astringent. I'm not getting any astringency there. I'm getting very little actually there, but I'm getting a lot of fruit forward in it, especially it's in the Very nuts. fruit forward, right? Yep. But still well within style. Still yeah, like yeah. Oh, 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 that was going to say, like yeah. That's a real easy drinking beer. Yeah. And again, great carbonation on this one. This one, maybe a little more carbonation on this. I, oh, well, you know what? I like your Todd, you turned your phone off. I remember why I need my phone. Calculator. Yeah. That's why I, like <laughs> you don't you can't, I can't do math. I have fingers. I, you, <laughs> <laughs> James does math every day <laughs> on the adding machine. I've seen it. I'm going to bring my editing machine over here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a very good score for the first one. I'm not saying it out loud, but that was a good score for the first one. Um, there we are. Oh, yeah, I don't have to sign it. I already put our names on it. And you guys don't have to wait for us whenever y'all are, are done. Oh, no, we, we don't want to get ahead of you. <laughs> I gave your group the extra beer too, because I was like, last time I'm yeah, always look, they're gonna be faster anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, one thing I did forget: if you want to just put the bottles over there, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, right. You didn't have to buy me another case of this. <laughs> We're good guy. He brewed you a whole can. Oh, yeah. oh, good. I didn't get. <laughs> and if y'all would, <laughs> if y'all would stack your uh, score card for each one, please. All right, so, uh, James, what did y'all grab? Uh, we grab a Kolsch. <laughs> no. Yeah, I got a Kolsch, too. 126. 126, and we got 119. 119. Perfect. Wow, that is about the, as bright as you can get. 119. There we go. Where are we supposed to? Uh, well, we just put them all together. Yes, that, if you would. Thank you, James. Clear City. Wow. See little bubbles on that one. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh dude. Dude. Look, look how bright like this that. is. Holy mo. See, yeah, when I say bright, like yeah, that's what that's I mean when super I say bright. bright. Good. Yeah. Man. Wow. Very good. Awesome. Like, I look this. Sorry, what's that, James? Yeah, don't look at this. Yeah. Don't look at this. God, I love that. That's almost like a cream ale. And you know, to how bright and pale. I smell mm-hmm. a little bit. I will say this. I think it was a very good idea to use these glasses because they, I couldn't smell the aroma last time out of those little. Oh, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. You're right. This has tons of. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've got the schnoz like I do. Just... This is very subtle. I did put coffee on here too. So what do you get in the aroma on that one? What's the first note? Well, for for me, it's extremely subtle. I don't get any hops. Yep. I get a tiny bit of fruit, and that's it. No, I don't smell the malt in that. Like that's do you? the one thing that comes out for me. That's explain to me so that I can learn. I don't know. It just it just smells like more like malt or like grain. Oh, okay, that's, that's well, or biscuity almost. Yeah, like, too. Okay, I can see like I get that like almost that pilsner crisp, mm-hmm. but through the nose. Mm-hmm. It's it's pleasant. That's very pleasant. I've always thought it was interesting too. You were talking about earlier that the appearance they only give three points to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would I would probably do if it was me making this up. I would probably do ten for aroma and five for uh, clarity. We can always make our own if you want in the future. Sure. Yeah. yeah. 
we're not we're not bound to the BJCP. Lord knows people give us a hard enough time anyways when we do our judge cards. Like they gave you a what? <laughs> they scored you what? You know they're not legit. Yeah, we admit that, dummies. We <laughs> no, we never admitted the thing. <laughs> Uh, I've never BJCP, tried. Yeah, never, uh, yeah. Cicerone yeah. certified. Yeah, someone asked me, I said, what? You mean functioning after a look? Yeah, that's what we are. Yeah. <laughs> See, I want to give it a three, but it's like so pale. That's why I wish it was more points because this is a four out of five. I don't know if it's a, th- a three at three, but I don't know if it's a two out of three because, it, yeah, I'm going to give it a three. I mean, I shouldn't say it out loud. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, keep this that quiet. Sorry, you're right, you're right. Professionality. Professionality, yeah. That's so dry. Yeah. Yeah, and I like that. Though. This is where personal preference comes into play. Like Todd, especially with like alts, where it's like, oh, I like the dry. And it's like, oh, I like a little bit sweet. Yeah. See, I like this one in the color. I just feel it's a little bit, little bit slightly too pale. Yeah, that's what I'm you saying. Think, yeah, yeah, no, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. I, just a little bit. But still beautiful color. Oh, clarity. so pretty. And, I, and also, like I said, the taste, this is, this is a lawnmower beer. It tastes like it finished at 4.3, <laughs> and I'm at the pool just drinking Chilling. it. Chilling. It's got just a just a slight amount of stringency or bitterness, which I like there. I know. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Almost makes you want to have the next drink. Yeah. It's kind of if the color was a though. little bit more blonde, I'd, I'd say that they bottled a fruit <laughs> because it had that cloud-like uh, mouthfeel, mm-hmm. and it's very neutral. Like, this is what I like about Kolsch, the style, when it's done, like, to the way I like it, mm-hmm. where it's, it's neutral. And it's so balanced that it yep. appears to be, uh, nothing is the wrong word. But you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's beautifully simple. And that's hard to do. It's what Kolsch should be. Yes. It should be very simple. Yeah, it's it's this one's not overly estuary. Huh. Even you know what? I don't ever get any fruit in the taste. I don't, it's no, really don't clear. It's fruit, got the, uh, a really good. It's got a good aroma, but it's got kind of a harsh. Be really harsh on it's it. Got a little, I'd say the hops is a little under. Well, okay, you I know, and I, I, wrote, down there. I wrote that it's very like, subtle. Yeah. yeah. But you're right. Exactly. You, no, nope. we're here to criticize. Yeah. So you to it's step a step very step end, down. it kind of leaves that hole. Small, like, yeah. You need yeah, a little bit more, more by But the mouth, I like the crisp. Back. It is a yeah, yeah, longer crisp. crisp. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm having a, I'm going to have to have a cracker to. Carbonation's great. Mm hmm. Tongue. T- How do you spell tongue, Josh? T O N G U E. Oh, that's right. G U E. Hunga. Hunga. I've never <laughs> spelled anything right in my whole life. Oh, I know. Hey, all right. Uh. That's KC 119 for me. And us? Correct. Everyone's doing this, and I finished up. Let me, uh, I forgot during the announcements parts to tell y'all at home watching. I realized so this year we did have a lot of people sign up, and then we had a lot of people drop out mostly because it, it wouldn't say it was a late notice, but Kolsch is the kind of style people like the condition. I get it. So we are, instead of surprising people when competitions are, we're at least preliminarily committing to Kolsch Cup going forward will always be in May, and Alt Pokal will always be in October. We're we're wind, we're gonna get dates nailed down and all that, but probably end of those months is when we'll be doing. Oh, so we're gonna change the month? 
No, we said we did say name. Remember, we agreed because April does get busy with Preppers Conference and mm. that other show you went to the restaurant one. Like, there's more potential for April to get crammed than May. Yeah. Yes, what did he grab y'all? One oh six. All right. April two has KC one zero six, and what do we got? One twenty five. One two five. Oh, this guy we came out good. I accidentally uh, pushed the, the multiply sound. So. <laughs> Ninety seven points. Wow. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I got over fifty. Yeah. <laughs> All right, KC one two five. Damn it! I did it again. Thanks, sir. Get rough. 327 points. <laughs> Your poor look better on the head retention. Yeah, I really kind of. I got rough look at there. And I should have. Still. So many, Beautiful look, color, though. I love see that. To yeah. me, perfect. Oh, look how bright that is. Yeah. How? Pretty, pretty color. People have been uh, on the podcast. I've been complaining about my process and I'm refining it. And a lot of people, Todd, are like you, where they're. Uh, utilizing that super clear or biofine, whatever brand of their choice. Like a lot of people believe in the gelatin at a commercial level is gelatin used. Mm, you know, they use some like the, uh, what is that? Isinglass they'll use in okay. some of them. I don't really, I've never used gelatin. You didn't have right. to. I never filtered, yeah. never did any of it. Just let it settle. That's what time yeah. is the best. Mm -hmm. friend. Yeah. Yeah. How long do it take? And I know the, the bigger bright tanks, it yeah. doesn't take near as long. A bigger bright, it would take just a few days to clear out. That's it's a dream. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. But you got a big flat bottom on there and it'll just all settle. And you could, what would you, could you get it all the way down to 32 degrees if you wanted to in the bright tanks? Yeah. Yeah, sure, you could. Uh, yeah, you should have saw his glycol chiller. It was bigger than that tank. Sure. Yeah, you could knock it down there. I usually didn't keep it there no, yeah, because totally. it's expensive, but yeah. you could definitely do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What if I it was your money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I had, I had a, a little sip of the, of the, uh, of the dark, uh, uh, the check water. Yeah. Oh, I bet that man is old, but it yeah. tastes, still tastes so good. good. It wouldn't hurt. Those those like, oh, no, that's the sip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I literally got a sip, but yeah. I, so I, th I may have had the last bit of the beer from the brewery. Oh man, I would say this is very fruity and and yeasty and or astringent. Really, sniff my glass, and I'm not getting the. What are you? We have the same beer. Wait, well, it's, it's sniff mine because. Yeah, I get something there. Do, I don't. I don't get yours at all. I really don't either. No, I just wrote down no aroma. <laughs> Jim, James, smell his real quick. I know you're on the different table. Just tell us if we're. Uh, High on crack. So you had to switch it around, Mandy. Yeah. That's that's the same beer. Same beer. Yeah. Little to no around. Yeah, there. report. Yeah. I'm gonna report. I'm gonna get really rough. But I still know. Yeah, I mean it it has a very subtle, very subtle calls. Yeah. Smell, flavor, aroma. A little fruit though, you're right. I can pick up yeah. a little bit of fruit. I guess when I'm really sniffing hard, is that not yeast I'm still? Not quite the aroma I want there on that one. Well, it's, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't. Not enough. enough. <clears throat> See that one right there? That smelled like freight. Yeah. I've told yeah. people, James, if they want to win, just repackage fruit. <laughs> that's, that's funny you say that. I I'm not getting the aroma on that one. Above <laughs> the this smells good. Yeah. Mm, what, oh, yeah. <laughs> very, very light. I still just pulse. can't get anything out of that one. I rocked it. Look at the size of this thing, man. I got sniffers, okay? <laughs> Mine is, I might as well snout and slouch here. <laughs> Now, where they do definitely get, look how beautifully blonde that mm -hmm. is. Blonde. Yeah, it's a gorgeous color. Bright. How I like my wieners. Bright and blonde. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, dumb and blonde. No, wait, brunette. Uh, Careful, Mel. My wife doesn't watch this. Okay, you're safe. I don't know. Okay. Honey, what's your hair color? You have hair? <laughs> color eyes. Come on. Yeah, tell <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Mm. 
There's something in there. I can't cut. See, do you not get the fruit and the taste now? Because I get. Man, I don't know why. I'm wrong. I'm, I'll just say, I kind of got that green apple. Yeah. Quain to it. A little, little like bit, it. Right? A little bit. Line. Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right there, top one. Oh, I forgot about the. You got you. You go See, cheat sheet there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm going to check. Do you that. get that? Just, I was just. I do a little bit of green little, apple. Right? It's not bad. No, no, it's no, no. A little no. bit there. Right. Well, and to be fair, <clears throat> it was a fruit, green apple. Yep. Yep. It's, it's not that it's out of so style, here but the first thing that came to my brain was green apple, green yeah. apple. So we're down to this three points for appearance, and the color is beautiful. The head is just not there. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. It, it, the, now, the carbonate, it tastes carbonated, yeah. but the head retention None is not None of the protein in there. Yeah. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's just a... It, it's the sweet mm. fruit. Um, where again, it's not bad. It's not out of style, but it, it kind of is the only thing I can think of. Yeah. I'll taste it. Yep. A little bit of green apple. Mm. For mouthfeel, I'm trying to think of yeah. the word that, like, because I get a bite. It is dry, but it still kind of coats the mouth. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So That's what I'm trying to understand the difference there in those. Uh, what do you say? What do you call that? Slightly tangy. Uh, tangy is a great word. Uh huh. Let's say it's good body. A little tangy. Yeah. <clears throat> uh -oh. oh, don't let the pups in. Have you later? I guess Grace, you want to go play it? Oh no, did she leave? I'm sorry. No, I didn't I'm sorry. Her, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean for a tick on the pubs. No, I did. <laughs> do that. She got a Grace, she's got mine of her own. <laughs> I mean, she she wouldn't leave Julie's side all the time. You know? That's awesome. awesome. Work. Yeah. Yeah. Step Julie. She just there you said, go. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I thought it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Wes is over here. He's over here dying. Uh, this is going to be the homebrew resuscitation hour. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, you did yeah, you yeah. that. You did that on camera. I don't care. No, no, no. We'll see. We'll get a fucking we'll we'll hair bottle. Yeah. yeah. Not, Beautiful. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put all the bottles in there. And they're not all going to fit, but you can use it. Well, I mean, I'm going to have to use some. James, what number do you got, my friend? I got a 120. 120. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And Mr. West, I can talk. I get a 102. I'm very impressed so far. Yep. Yeah. No, yeah. It's been good. Is it seem like the same uh, participants every year? Or? No. The, so for this Polish Cup, was the most different. The, the first two Polish Cups had probably a 75% crossover. This one, only about 50% of returning people. I had I didn't personally invite them, but I wish I would have. The last two Kolsch Cup champions, uh, Brian and George, I, I, wa I wanted them to enter. Like, I think that that would be cool to have them, you know, try again. Because remember, Brian has won the first Kolsch Cup, and then he won the last alt poke all. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I problem. want it, I'd never enter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm retired. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. Walk our wrestling there. 
Yeah, that's right. Todd beat me up 15 years ago and you won't rematch me. Come to Sire. <laughs> undefeated, too. Yeah, yeah. That's what he says. Uh, undefeated. That's exactly what I said. Ooh, look at that. Man, these people brew beautiful Kolsch's. And that, see, this is that perfect blend of hail but blonde. Mm hmm. The last one we did was hazy. Was it? We had one hazy one. We, we've had one, in, yeah. <clears throat> But it's still, I would, I'd be very proud of this kind of clarity. Yeah. That is beautiful. And pretty head on there, too. Oh, my gosh. Little micro bubbles are very nice. That's so pretty. Look, you're mm -hmm. more, too, the head retention. Yeah, I was a little, could get a little rough on it. <clears throat> now, this is what I would call subtle. Like where you're saying no Roma. Am I? No. Am I? See, I've got a good, try that one. Okay, let's see. Dude, my nose is broken. I don't... Not getting it? It's very subtle. Yeah. Very... I mean, I would also say this has that kind of right. Pilsner biscuit. Yes, exactly. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. That's what I get. Yeah. Subtle, but it's there. Yeah, Mom, see? All those very cigars nice. didn't burn my nostrils. <laughs> wow, I can barely smell it. No, it's pleasant, but it's just very subtle. And it does, it smells it like a bad aroma, and yeah. I can smell just a Which tiny is good bit of fruit. Yep. Uh, yeah. KC 102. Man, that's... <clears throat> It's pretty clear, so we got a little tiny bit of this too, which is so pretty. Oh, it's so great. Great head. <clears throat> Retention. Retention. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Give us a one star review on that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> People think I'm so caught up on Dragonfly Lady, but I'm not. All right. What she what she wrote about us, I could care less. <laughs> Gosh, I you brought it up. <laughs> He's brought it up a hundred times. The, the one who gave us a one star review like two years ago because of potty humor. He, that happy. one host thinks he's so funny. You don't remember he's the story? Time. He's told it a hundred times on the pod. No, 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 no. The 12 year old uh, humor. She, that's what she wrote on her Apple podcast. I mean, I, allegedly. I don't remember this lady. Allegedly. No. I was going to make her review a t shirt and she didn't sell it on, on our website. <laughs> we have a merch store. I was going to sell Dragonfly Ladies. Uh, <laughs> Monetize, monetize her anger. Yeah. Man. Dude, it is so well carbonated. Yeah, and it's not it's not over. Like it's no, I'm saying, bite, like, it's just like, beautiful. Like, like the lacing it's giving yep. in my tiny mm. little one and a half ounce pour is just I love that. This is this is a really nice one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I could have some more there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't want to do a spoiler, but that is uh going to receive good numbers from mm -hmm. me <clears throat> that tastes so good it's so balanced yep yeah the hops is there but yeah it's not no it's not crazy it's just all. right there same with everything it's just yep. yeah i like that one a lot <clears throat> and it's so smooth yeah and creamy and it's per is again the, with the balance it's not dry and it's not sweet no but it doesn't coat them out no, it doesn't leave you it no, that's what I'm saying. it's not leaving yeah. oh gosh and it has that pilsner finish it has like a bisque like that kind of uh, that could fool you into thinking it was a pilsner too like I was, no no totally if you would have poured totally me your, I, I agree that's a yeah it's if great. you would have poured me this and said a compliment for hey, cold yeah it's good yeah hey if james was like hey this is the new pilsner i poured i believe him yeah <laughs> Man, that's so bad. See, I think Todd would like it more bitter than this. Because I hear him talking about it down there. He's like, it needs to be more bitter. <laughs> but that one is no, just, I, it's just I, I actually now. like, uh, I do like a Kolsch to have that little bit of fruitiness, sweetness to it. Oh, really? You know, like, like a little bit of a bitter? Huh? Yeah. Like where it coats your mouth a little bit? And yeah, because when I when we go to Clone, you always have that little bit of a fruity ester. No? 
but sweet. Well, you know, fruit is very much like that. But yeah. And a little bit of a hop flavor, not enough to notice much stuff. Yeah, just there for a balance and there's no holes in it. <clears throat> and the more I taste that one, the more I like that flavor. Mm. I'll copy us. <laughs> Why, did y'all say something like that? No, we're, just, we really we're, like just, we're doting on yeah, this. Like <laughs> no, but I, when I first tasted it, I was like, it's done. And then I tasted it again. You know, my buddy Eric always says you have to taste a beer at least twice before you can. Uh, I think part of the problem is sometimes I have a it, the first sip tastes a little bit like salt bean crackers. <laughs> I don't wonder why. Because I'm eating maybe salt bean crackers. Possibly. I still don't get the coffee thing. Just to clear out your nostrils. Have you used it? Yeah, it's supposed to clear your nostrils. I, <clears throat> it, it's just a formality for you guys. I use it. That's it. So if you do the cracker in the coffee, then you should be your your set to zero. Yeah. Yeah, we want to haunt them. Thanks to the girl. I'm supposed to smell it. That's what <laughs> coffee. Yeah. Let's see that. No, no. Hey, Same thing. That's Bill's last one. Yeah, yeah. On the bottom row, you're good. Yeah, and y'all get the top row. No, no, no. That will be your top row on the left. We're we're on the bottom, uh, the top row on the top. That's right. Sorry. This is y'all. Yes, sir. Yep, that's our next one. Oh, look at that. Oh, hey. Ah, that's a cool looking one. All right, uh, James. What did you grab, sir? One one six. Geesh, weesh, coach. And then what did we grab? No, ish, ish, weesh. No, didn't have a number. Oh, bottom, bottom right there. What does it say? AC 127. 127, yep. Perfect. His name on that? No. Oh, is it the. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't know this. I don't know who it is. I want to see it. I know these people. Okay, here you go. What is the name? I'm so blind. Oh, that's his home brewery name. Okay, yeah. no, no real name. I don't no, know. No. I don't, yeah, okay. it's a it's a great can and the only can for this year. Mm -hmm. Starting to come out there. That's nice. Bubble gut. Bubble gut brewery. Is that what it says? <laughs> a bunch of bubble gut crap beer. Bubble gut. <laughs> All right. The can. The can looks great. One twenty six. Yes, one two seven. Y'all have one one six, right? Uh, yes. Okay, C one two. Hey, y'all wrote the number on that one. I'm not sure <clears throat> I did. I hope you did. You had to go back and write it online because that forgot. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I can't read the number on this one. Jokes on me. I can't read. read. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this one's one one six. I can't add. That yeah. was when we just two. That's beautiful. I, I knew that. These yeah. guys are <laughs> nailing the kind of another uh, uh, another shake it. Uh, that is beautiful. Wow, that is really bright. What? See, oh, wow. coal yeah. after coal, guys. Yeah. This is a good year. This is a good year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could definitely read. Now, see, I would say the same thing on this aroma in regards to subtle and not a lot going on. <clears throat> well, that one has a good smell. Wow. Maybe sweet. Yeah, that's the first brain. The first word that popped in my brain is sweet. Can I get a fruit? I want yeah, a sweet okay. fruit. I can see yeah. some fruit. You get any fruit there? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's I'm like conflating. You know? No, no, no. I'm con yeah, that probably. Yeah. I'm very impressionable. That's why I smoke cigarettes. Um, Joe Camel got me. Uh, Paul Malls. <laughs> no <laughs> filter. <laughs> Short pack. Huh? Uh, yeah. We're gonna smoke a pack after the cold stop. <laughs> I, I like it. I mean, it's subtle. Like a almost an overwrite. But to me, that's the perfect culture. Okay, yeah. I can I can get that. But the, Pass, I was, like the, the sweet the sweetness is what I get. Yeah, I don't get any hop. Yeah, that's a, I don't get it's much of the malt at all. Yep. I get I I do know all I'm getting is yeah, yeah that's yep. clear. Wow. Yeah, definitely some yeast in there. A little. I'm putting a little sweet. I'm doing a three point five on that one. Yeah, 3.75. <laughs> <laughs> I 
three point seven five. You can't go over, Todd. Come on. <laughs> That's why it was a joke. Yeah. Dude, I wish we were live streaming. Let's take a poll. Should we do that? <laughs> decimals? That is so pretty, though. Yeah, it's very it's pale. Though. It's you know a what? Little it's hazy. A little hazy. Okay, you're right. When I build my, I'm trying to, I'm trying to wipe the blast to make sure it's not. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. Chill haze or whatever they call it. A little bit. From the blast paint. Mm -hmm. No, you're right. Yeah, it's a little cloudy. But it's not, I mean, it's still bright. It's still pretty. Uh, and a perfect color. It is. I would say that. I wish we, I had a nicer setup to have multiple cameras so we could do like the beer cam on each table, like put it here. You could like shine right into it. Yeah, exactly. Like, come on, upgrade your uh, system. Let's go. Patreon.com forward slash homebrew happy hour. Somebody donate a camera. Somebody donate some money, and I will every year try to upgrade our sis, our, our setup. Brew Day Live that we do with my dad. I'm next one coming up this month. I'm going to have the interface that I use for the grandfather uh, on the screen. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, like, it has a. Oh, little, so you'll see the Yeah, so the people right. watching it will be able to see. Yeah. Parents. I'm sorry. Pale. I like that. I mean, it's um, it's got a good finish. Mm -hmm. On the front, maybe a little sweet, and on the back, it's lingering. Yeah. The, do you feel you see astringency in that one? I'm using that word wrong. I used it wrong earlier. I don't kind of want to actually pucker. What? Oh, that's, okay. Uh, yeah, that's a fantastic color. Really is. I think. I th yeah. I, well, I, I think too. So it, it ends like the flavor uh, ends quick, so mm -hmm. but then all what I was calling kind of sweetness is lingering, like on my cheeks. Like I guess yeah. maybe that's the exchange. And to me, that it kind of pulls, like it pulls on your it's mouth. Pulled, a bit. No, yeah. Like it's still in my cheek of like, uh, and with a little bit of bitterness at the end. You don't know more. Do you I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pour it without it? too much because every time I've tried to smell it, so. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I assumed that was over carbonation, but because uh, I'm conflating, like um, mm. the bite from bitterness with the bite from carbonic acid. I could use a case of that. Yeah, yeah. no, definitely get a carbon. No, you're right. No, I think that is hot bitterness that I'm getting. Man, that's what I feel. Yeah, yeah. Well, that makes sense. That makes more <laughs> well, sense. It's not really carb. No, it, it did. It did start when to come out. You know? Yeah, but carb bite to me it hits you right up front and just really okay. That's the hits the front of your palate, and then the uh, that astringency just hangs out. Well, then I would say yes. At that, like, I will agree to your parameters, and then I will agree with your premise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally wrong, probably, dude. I'm, that's the story of my life. That's the title of my memoir. <laughs> It is creamy, but it, yeah, just the bitterness. I'm conflating bitterness with carbonation. What do you guys think? Give me the give me the difference between carb bite and astringency for y'all. Uh, carb bite doesn't make you really want to pucker like astringency does. Right, it's a whole different type. It's it, to me, mm. carbonic acid is a bite, but it's a nice it's a nice bite on your palate. Whereas astringency makes you want to. It's like have you ever put a little aloe on your tongue? Mm. That's a strange. Yeah, makes it just all makes you draw. Yes, yeah. oh, uh, put that in. You know, I've just seen Dumb and Dumber. What do you <laughs> say? Uh, have you met me? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that big <laughs> pumpkin pot haircut and freak. And he goes, "Not the strange." My uh, my daughter was watching that like last night when I came over here. Well, better than that before. Anyway, I haven't seen it in years. Oh, it is cream. Wow. I see. I'm right. That I, in my opinion, I think maybe it's a little over. Which side right. is ours? It could be uh, left side. Left side. And so you're not just on that one on five. Red one of the one. Oh, but no, no. Pulling from the inside. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, because we already did one twice. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, huh? It's just dangerous a way to put together there. If I'm the one serving. <laughs> okay, we're doing 120 again, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you grab? 
Uh, what did you drive? One one two. Uh, one one five. One one five. You sure? Okay. You literally said okay. The number. <laughs> Don't trust what I say. Yet. Don't trust what I say. Uh, it's just weird you would doubt it after you're the one that told me what the number was. God, I forgot what I had for breakfast. <laughs> Don't mean by being on numbers or something. Like this. I'm not getting much snow at all. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, they're getting past us, but that's okay. Yeah, well, they have we got one extra. That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, we have not had a single, like, bad one yet. That's awesome. That's a good problem. Yeah. People at home are collectively sighing in relief. <laughs> oh, thank God. They haven't had mine yet. Yeah, they haven't had mine. <laughs> <laughs> Which one did you grab for us? Oh, 124. All right, one, two, PC 124. Thank you. Ooh, sure. Look at that rise. Dang. It's going to come out. That's some trouble. Me. <laughs> we call that breakout. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. Go on, get. <laughs> That's my purse. I don't know you. Oh, she came to the head with some. I like that color. Yeah, that's beautiful and clear. Yeah. Perfect color. Miss, that's pretty. Let me see. Oh, yeah. It is beautiful. That, isn't that, that pretty is, cold? That is even clearer yep. than the one we... Isn't that a pretty cold? That is Holy beautiful. Moly. I don't care what anybody says. Now, I'm a home brewer, and clarity isn't as big a deal as taste to me, but how could you not want to look at that? Yeah, taste? that's what... That's delicious. Dude, that's why I've been so hung up recently on our batches. Like, they taste great, but I'm like, yeah, I try this. To people who've come over because it's like... Yeah. I'm not the most proud of it. Not super pretty. Yeah, because it's not super pretty. It's super, like, this is a beer you did on tap and it, oh my God, are you a pro? But if you see this, you already have expectations really yeah, high. Absolutely. Like, I, I'm going to like this even yep. regardless of how it You're tastes. So psychological. Yeah, it helps. What was this again? I'm so sad. One, uh, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two. It's funny how you think you're going to like it. You're going to like it. Yeah. So appearance is, it should have more than three points. It, I agree. Appearance should have more weight, but. Good mild aroma. I put subtle fruit. That's what I put on all of my things. <laughs> <laughs> Again, subtle fruit, title of my memoir. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was I am wrong. Yeah, I am wrong. <laughs> I have multiple memoirs. Just from working, it is for, just from working for Todd. I had multiple memoirs. It's called coping mechanisms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't get a lot of hop. I, heard, I don't get a lot of malt. Yeah. I use the word like subtle that. too much, but it's true with this style that's Should probably be. expected. Yeah. Like not, you don't want it to be, oh my God, it's so juicy. <laughs> this is an IPA. Great head, great tensions.
So have you had any complaints in the past on not being able to read or writing? Yeah. No, no, I haven't, really. Right. Oh, you write like a doctor? Like I that? write, yeah, <laughs> sort of like a doctor, yeah. Geez, if you write like a doctor, wow, wow. <laughs> going over and going, <laughs> nobody could read this. Mine looks like Howard Blyth. Oh, mine's terrible. Oh, I can read yours fine. My, but mine looks like a first grader. I don't my, in a while. <laughs> my, my, handwriting, <laughs> my handwriting hasn't changed since the first grade. <laughs> mine, mine's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> ah, I, was here and I was like, that's fine, that's lovely. <laughs> No, okay, no <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Everything leading up to the flavor Time. got me hyped up, like we talked about. Mm -hmm. A little sweet for me. It's a lot of flavor. It's a lot of flavor. But there we go. It's a little it's sweet. It's a little, yeah. I just mean, it's, um, and again, I'm using the word wrong, but I'm now I feel like that's astringency standing on the back of yeah. my tongue. Yeah. It's kind of drawing out your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> James, you're being so quiet over here. <laughs> you're contemplating your thoughts. You're I am. judging. Oh, we're just ripping through this stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Like we got things to do. We're already almost an hour in, though. So, oh, really? Yeah, we're yeah. Hour. gonna get. Yeah, it's two o five, two o six now. Now the mouth fill, right bottom. I, again, I'm trying not to confuse the astringency with carbonation because I think it's actually great. I think the carbonation level is great. I think it's dead on. Yeah. That's what's cool about uh, Homebrew Con is they have usually every year they have a class where you can taste what astringency. Uh -huh. that, and, that's uh, what I need. You know? Yeah. That way I have an exact example that I can refer to in my brain. Yeah. 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 It was like I had uh, Lorena taste my, I did a Pilsner, but I normally I do pressure fermentation on everything. And then I, I, I put CO2 in the fermenter and pre-pressure it up so then mm -hmm. you don't have any off flavors. Right. And that one I didn't, I let it get to pressure by just carbonation. Mm -hmm. And just that warm carbonation uh -huh. before it went to pressure caused... <clears throat> Uh, phenols mm -hmm. just set in, and it was just Todd. What did you get? Drink. Mm, KC one one seven one one seven. Okay. Well, there went that. Now you're good. <laughs> I'm still doing math. It's the the math story. Huh. That takes a while. <laughs> I have a supercomputer in my hands, sir. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, sir. So I reinvented it and I just pre pressure as soon as I pitch the yeast, I put some, put it no on gas and got it to about eight PSI. How great is pressure fermentation? I love it. <laughs> it is so good. Do you already pour? Mm -hmm. I'm up. And it came out really good. I just don't oh, the damn thing. No, no. Yep. Well, I've cold. got it here. You can taste it. Is it a cold? No, it's a, uh, it's a pil pils uh, Pilsner. Dude, it's great though. This too it is good. You're just now. You're just comparing it to Todd's because oh, he's, <laughs> I, you gotta try it. It tastes exactly. It's, I've been trying to brew really? that for a damn year, and I'm just having a boy. I think I'm gonna make it. Done. <laughs> no, oh, make you sick. Okay. Isn't it the worst? It's the worst. It's the worst. It's not fair. Um, that's just. These people are really. I haven't tasted it yet, color. but just the now it's a little cloudy. A little cloudy, yeah. But it's still. I like that paint. Oh, the, and I and I said, it, I now I get better light. Yeah, there we go. Look at that little little light. Man. When it becomes so pale that I confuse it with the cream ale. Yeah. This is one oh nine. One nine. Correct. <clears throat> the head on it is moderate. I mean, yeah. No. No. Bad, it, yeah. But it's not. It's not you know, normally, if they're pouring this up in Cologne, y'all tell me if I'm wrong here, but you're going to have, there's a lot of head coming off of that, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah like you're seeing a, a not least, quite like a Czech core, but <laughs> right, yeah, not, you know, not a, what do they call that? The snit? Yeah. Yeah. You know, a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's that's funny. They have that. How would you like to pour? I want beer. <laughs> beer. Want, yeah. <laughs> the whole thing. I want please. the whole thing. <laughs> All of it. 
Uh oh. Wait, I say uh oh. What's my what, what is that? Ooh. Yeah, what is that? Okay, what is just me? What is that? Yeah, recalibrate. Recalibrating. I th- I think it's just esters. Uh, when I, it's very strong esters. That's it. I definitely. Yeah, uh, I taste the uh, the butter stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh, is there finally a flaw? Uh, the little dicey. Yeah, I'm the king of making crushes with dicey. <laughs> not overly like. Yeah, it's. I definitely. I like that one brewery that tried to sell butterscotch beer. <laughs> it wasn't it. It wasn't not me. Not me. Uh, you, you, you always, you always think you taste it, but I should, do. You should taste this. Put it to the side. Right. Put yeah, it to the no. side. I will. You're right, Todd. I'm the worst with that. He'll be like, try this. I go. Is that a little bit of butterscotch? It <laughs> tastes like my grandmother's candy bowl. Oh, man. Just don't try to sell it. You pick them all up. And all <laughs> At least to admit. And do you Listen realize that brewery never did that batch again? I wonder why. Funny about that. Oh, isn't that weird? It's funny. <laughs> Dorts. It's from all the comments from people saying, when are you going to brew that? Man? Yeah. Well, there were people in the really room. love There were people in their room. So like, best beer I've ever had. Tastes like grandma's butter. I'm like, y'all are gross. Yeah. This y'all are gross. Strong. Y'all deserve everything you get. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's the best compliment <laughs> ever. Yeah, that's too much history for me. Yeah, way, way too much. And I wonder if that can happen in the bottling process. I know, I know that's not a sign, like, that's not oxidation, and that's mm-hmm. not like infection. That's from the yeast. But I wonder if in transit even, if it got too hot in the truck, and it sat too long. I'm just wondering what to bring that out because there have been times, and yeah. James has actually been a victim of this with his alt beer. His batch was incredible. We were having it on draft all the time. They dogged him for not diacetyl. What was it for? It was diacetyl. Oh, it was. Okay. Was it diacetyl? Mm-hmm. But in there, and and I mean, yeah, transit. Well, it had to be because yeah. it, when he drove it there cold, I was there when he dropped it off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, I think they got your bottle wrong, honestly. I think they mixed oh. it up because. Because we actually went to we uh, we recorded Oster an episode Blues. from Oster Blues. They did a podcast there. Four went out for them. They they're not closed. <laughs> yeah, but they were. But you know, if that. it's not pasteurized, yeah. it can anything can happen at a time. That's what's the hard thing about shipping kegging them. You don't know what it's going to taste like when it gets there. But yeah, a lot of astro on that. I would say it just overwhelms everything else. You think your fermentation temp was just a little? Well, that's what I, that's possible. why I don't know. Like I would be interested. Like KC 109 to leave me feedback. You can yeah. text us 325-305-6107 and say like, yeah, my keg is this way. Or what we had in the past, people go, man, I was really bummed to hear y'all say that because my keg is th- the best ever. Yeah. I'm like, well, that's the, that's the problem with competitions. I- unless you're driving it yourself in the keg. That's really hard. It's, there's a lot of variables between your actual batch and getting to the hands of the judges. I would have to guess, if anything, that would be a little bit high on that yeast. It's stressing it a little bit on the high side. Yeah, but the appearance, I like it's it. Pretty. Yeah. I haven't even tasted it yet. No. Ooh, what's that at the end? They like dropped off a cliff and up. Yeah. And I don't mean this as an insult, but it almost has that etch strat finish, if that makes sense. Like, like as if they, it was, this was an etch strat batch. And people make a phenomenal beer that strat. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. They're, they're just having the first step done for you. You're not having to mash. But um, to me, it, it it has that kind of um, homebrew edge strat. A little empty. Empty. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And again, not, not being, I hope whoever is 109 is not like, oh, we're dogging it. No, we're judging it. Yeah. Being rough on purpose there. Uh-huh. I mean, don't even, I would not complain if I'm at, again, at Todd's pool later today mm-hmm. at the hot tub with the bathing suit, without a bathing suit. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, with, without, <laughs> yeah. Todd never wears one. It's terrible. Uh, <laughs> he, he wants them boys free. <laughs> <laughs> free them boys. It's all about my comfort. 
the flavor is much better than the aroma. And we'll say that. But it's still... Well, and the mouthfeel is okay, too. The mouthfeel is actually like the best part of it. Yeah, the like mouthfeel is the best part of it. Here you go, James. Are you done, Josh? Of what? Judging that beer? No. Nah. Okay. I'm going to pour you all a little of this just so you can. I want you to taste that. The carbonation is bringing this. Mm -hmm. And we just keep pulling from here. And then I keep asking. I just. Oh, uh, no, no. You're on the top row now. Uh, that, that one right there is yours. Yeah. So what's the difference between those? Those were doubled out. You already got the the one from now. Oh, yeah, they say two of each. Yeah, correct. And the ones on the top were people who said that's three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, lovely people. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Look at my phone. This is extra cool. Buddy, he didn't put, thankfully, he didn't put his uh, name on that one. Our buddy Fred, the blind brew guy from Instagram, sent us a jalapeno dill pickle. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at your face. Oh, wow. <laughs> What are we doing? I am done with this one now. All right. I want to uh, uh, switch it up a little bit and smell it. Okay. Oh, yeah, butterscotch. And then oh, taste okay. it. Okay. Yeah, no, man. That's diacetyl. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. Yep. But you know what? Not the worst diacetyl I've ever taken. No, I know, but you sometimes that's you struggle only, with no one at the uh, see. That's all that guy was brewing next to Wes. No, yeah, he was brewing that, that on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> did you ever have any? No, I did not. You don't research. You didn't research your competition. No, I didn't. No. Well, I do. I want to. Well, all I know was I, that guy came in a couple of times, and he said, "He said, y'all were terrible people." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I say. No, but don't shoot the one kid in the playground. Don't oh. shoot the messenger. <laughs> okay, what did you right, grab? Right. One oh one. Oh hey, one oh nine. That might have been the first person to sign up. That's I never, I could never sold that. <laughs> one oh five. Y'all one oh five. Oh, all right. Yeah, if you go get that port in Cologne, I think that's how it should look. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that's, 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 that's Prague. You know? Well, true. That, well, uh, uh, yeah. no phone. well, I mean, yeah. uh, it would be up higher, but I'm sorry, but it's time for Todd to put him back in. <laughs> Good. We'll catch up. Awesome. Right now. All right. My turn to four. And I need a biscuit. That last one was a little stringent for I said, let's get a cracker. A cracker. How How dare dare you? You I am white. I'm not. Yeah. Her. What did you call me? <laughs> Guilty as child. My mom's Latina. How dare you? <laughs> You're not Latina. <laughs> I'm Latina. I am. Hachu. <laughs> Latina. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like they're pharmaceutical. <laughs> Try new Latina. <laughs> <laughs> some, some side effects may apply. <laughs> yeah. Some, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you experience, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you experience, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> an affinity to tequila. <laughs> we are certainly getting pale blonde beers that are well carbonated. Get my two ounces in. All right, wonderful head retention. I like the color. It is a little hazy, but also, hold on. No, it's good. Yeah, not as bright as some of them, but still really good. Uh, which, again, though, appearance, it's not a, like, it's only three points. Yeah. Like, so, ah. for me, I have to give it the benefit of the doubt, uh, the point, because it's too good to not be. 
But and, now you have to split hairs. No, 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 you only yeah. have three points. No, exactly. I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. BJCP judges just be giving ones on everything. They <laughs> probably would. Pe- people show me their scorecard for talk about it, like, yeah, I did really hey, good. Man. I got a 29. I'm like, oh, that's really good that's at BJCP? Good. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I've never competed. My urine was a perfect color of colch with a fruity aroma. Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> Next week is urine hop where we can jump. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Mm, yeah. It smells, asparagus. It smells a little, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know what? I'm getting a little bit of pre diabetes on the front. There's some fatty liver in the background. Liver enzymes are escalated. Uh, huh. Or elevated. <laughs> I like that smell. This was a good mm-hmm. one. Man. Yeah, it's not was. It is. This is a good beer. That's great. Mm. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Mm. Boy, it's clear. Wow. A bit more. Y'all ever seen a clear beer than that? Wow. They have one on mm. mm. That's yeah. beautiful. Y'all have a beautiful one. The way how blonde it is. Yeah. That's beautiful. 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 Right now, that taste it. That is. That is a. Beautiful beer. I like it. Because it's so clean. Yep. <laughs> it's so valid. Yeah. Man. <clears throat> oh, what number is this? 105. You don't like that. Excellent. No? I'm a little surprised, James. I really it's like this beer, but it's it so has, there's it no, has there's no, nothing no, more. No, actually, that nothing's anything great. that shouldn't be. One. Yeah. Nothing's punching in the face. This is so yeah, nice. I love it. I think, gosh. Got that. Maybe you're coming around to the dark side. No. <laughs> welcome to the dark side yeah this is good i mean this is a really it's good very good very good mm. The mouthfeel too. My gosh, great body. Yeah, great curve. <clears throat> oh, oh. I had already had three blood. <laughs> I just, I had to pee. Yep, that's exactly the color of my urine. <laughs> <laughs> Here, my God, let me see. <laughs> great, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It wasn't that clear though. It's kind of cloudy. <laughs> Little chunks on liver. You see a doctor about that. Look, <laughs> I thought I detected some spongy little liver <laughs> oh, pieces no. floating in there. <laughs> Is that an issue? <laughs> Is that a flaw? I'm not sure. All right. Oh, yeah, I, I have a hard time I know, I counting the joints on that one. Like, that was really good. So good. We got 10 more beers. Total. Between all of us or what? What? Well, no, no, you only have, you only have four more, but including the one in your hand. It is one. Yeah, you're only on the right side. So one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. Well, I thought we were doing uh, the inside row too. Oh no, no, that has yeah, yeah. They double. Oh, pardon me. The inside row is doubled up of what you've already done. Oh, okay. Yeah. What did you grab? One twenty one. One two one. It's Charlie. He's bad. You just grant you little glass. Yeah. <laughs> one short eight. All right, we are now judging one. Zero E. And we only have three more including this one here. Yep. Okay. I give this one a three plus on clarity. No <laughs> plus doesn't count, but wow. <laughs> plus plus. Casey one zero eight. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Say- Look at that. 
she's going to climb out. Like all my first dates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little bit deeper color in this one. I like that. I just, yeah, yeah. deep is a great one. Yeah. You're right. Like good. bold. It's yep. like, especially with the good lighting. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, I expect a lot out of this one. Ooh. Yep. In case you want the way the, the psychological effect is sitting mm-hmm. in. I don't want to be disappointed, sir or ma'am. We had women in there. How dare you laugh at that? Women were the original. I'm just, movies. I'm just amazed you assumed it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I'll edit that out. I didn't mean to assume. <laughs> I jokes on y'all. I don't edit anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the head retention is so good. Oh, yeah, I do aroma first. That's right. I hate that. I want to paint go back first. Oh, yeah, I know. We don't have to go in order. I don't. Parents should be first. Yeah. And then aroma. And then. Yeah, the appearance. How can you not do that? Yeah. You see it first. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Did you already get one? Mm-hmm. Slow. I got to pee again already. Tell okay. me, I'm going to have to go see a, uh, the what do you call them? A urologist. Yeah. Cause I, it happens I, when I have to, when I wait too long, I have to go again real quick and then I'm fine after that. Interesting. Yeah. That's my opinion. I told him proctologist. Proctologist. Yeah. yeah. But he always says it. No matter what I say yeah. is wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to you in every time. Yeah. I get esters off the front of a fruit in the boat. Mm-hmm. There's the princess right there. I thought I'd... you let her in, dude. Your dog is good. <laughs> you want me to let her in? You took a seed jet for your princess. <laughs> well, dog. So, yeah. Fruit on the nose and fruit on the palate. Is it going to taste up front? It's not bad. No, definitely the fish thing. That's so pretty. Mm-hmm. Oh, Hello, princess, are you going to judge with us? Everybody, this is Gracie. <laughs> honorary, uh, honorary, honorary H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H. judge. <laughs> She's the prettiest judge judge me. That's for you. Hey, baby. The first thing she does every morning is come into my office. That's right. <laughs> she comes in, I, I mean, yeah. full blast. She comes Fear. through that door and goes straight to his office. A huge smile. Yeah. Just cause she, that dog can smile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's done sweet hard. <clears throat> Look, babe. Yeah. Are you going to help me? <laughs> See, like, I want to taste the beer. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, somebody else got in too. A pug got in. <laughs> A very jealous pug. Now, May have hyped it up too much on the appearance. The flavor's not bad, but the the finish. I'm trying to put a word on it, I don't. Have well, again, I keep conflating carbonic acid with bitterness. You you tell me which one I'm experiencing. But oh, this like, one, I get more hot bitterness. Okay, because I don't get the okay. drawing of the mouth. Okay. It is bitter, but yeah. it's not like a not that drawing feeling. And, and again, like I said, I, I can't, sometimes I just conflate like, oh man, that's, that's got a bite to it. Like as if carbonation was the issue. Yeah. But no, I think you're right. The bitter, hot bitterness. It's a little. Take a, take a chug of Topo Chico. That's the hot. And that's yeah. like, wham, right yeah. up in the front. Just slaps you. How do you say that? I don't know how to say that. Um. Uh, Acetyl hide. Acetyl hide? Mm hmm. Your green apple? Wow. It's like, you'll have to taste this one afterwards too, so you can know what it tastes like. We'll now. put it to the side. Well, I smelled it, but wow. No, the mouth feels not bad. 
it's it's good carbonation. Uh, I mean, the creaminess from the head retention. I'd say it's a pretty good balance. Yeah, it's it's lacking something in it, but I really can't say what. Hi, mm-hmm. sweetie. I'm so sorry we're not giving you attention yet. I am so yeah. sorry. Here you go. You are so beautiful. Oh, I'm beautiful. Just pet me. Just throw the ball. <laughs> the bell of the... How old is she now, James? No, I'm 13. Dang. Yeah. No, she's not. Uh, you are holding your age well. No, kid. Yes, ma'am. Everybody ages water. better than me. What the crap? <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Yep. Got to get a jacket here. So why do I have it just any notifications? Can good, thank you. That was uh one oh eight. One oh eight. Y'all are on one twenty one, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. We grab our next one, sir. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You guys ready? Yes, sir. The good ones are, I think, is the hardest ones to score. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're splitting hairs on it, especially the ones that are uh, <laughs> maybe not <laughs> perfect, yeah. but really good. That yeah. you just uh, sometimes. What are you grabbing? On? One more three. This is one one three. Yeah. Would you grab us? Uh, is that a one twenty two? Uh, yes, it has to be. Okay. <laughs> a hazy Kolsch on its main. Oh no! Uh, no, no I got a whole new class. At least he's setting this. Oh, you got a knife? Hey, of yeah. course. Oh wow! Nice one. Is that the same? What's the uh, name? It it was one twenty one. Right? Right? <laughs> uh, hold on, before we try that here. Yeah, I want you because I, I think it's neat. Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing after? Come on. Now that's a classic example. Did you smell it? Mm-hmm. Uh, a single hide. Oh, okay. There's oh, yeah. Okay. Next yeah. Taste it. Both in aroma and taste. I definitely taste it. Right. I don't even have to. Uh, <laughs> it's like it's there. Yeah, a good example. Oh, yeah, it no. is. It, which is nice because I've never actually tasted I don't think I've ever no. tasted it strongly. That before. Long. Yeah. But you know what? I mean, if I brewed that beer, I would still, I'd still have it in my kegerator. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. Would uh, you? Yeah. <laughs> I love that answer. I would do that because I would spend all that time. But Todd, the way Todd said that. Yeah, yeah, no, really, seriously. How bad can it was? Well, that? at least remember <laughs> the time that I brewed the beer and, and I brought, I had two kegs and I brought both of them and I, you know, I, everybody was sitting around a campfire. And we poured the one keg, and everybody said, eh, that's really good. And everybody poured a glass of the other keg, and they're like, oh, God, what is that? <laughs> and I was like, there's something wrong with this beer. And I drank, like, three of them. And then <laughs> on the, on halfway through the third one, I just grabbed it, opened it to the top of the keg, and poured the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to explode. Here we go. Here we go. No, this I love the old. <laughs> those are all style. Yeah, I know. Isn't it great? Swing puff. That is a hazy. Ah, I he can already tell you. He didn't lie. I can already tell you. <laughs> yeah. What? He told me on the label it says hazy calls. I don't think that's a style. Remember, hey, what, 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 remember that one year? What did the they say? The very first year, year that somebody sent us a IPA calls. Yeah. Oh. What did they call it? Like a West Coast calls? They had some names. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's cheating. They had some names. Wow. 
Okay. Well, he's not lying. That's probably the best smelling I mean, clothes so far. I'm sure it tastes fine. It's just the... the and this, what is it? 122? 122, yeah. Roger. Okay, see. One, two, two. Got to start with the roll move. Getting the... Uh, I like one. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Well, I was say it smells like a Bud Light. <laughs> no, like no, a, it's, you know, like a saison kind okay, of okay, that okay, a little bit kind yeah. of a barnyard flavor they call it. It's got a. They used the, it's a coast with a yeasty. Uh, would you say that yeasty? What do you call uh, yeah. a Belgium yeast? Yeah, <laughs> yeah a Belgian flavor. <clears throat> You know, you know how Saison has that. If you're drinking that oh, or any of the Belgian, I, yeah, and yeah, you get barnyard is right. the flavor. Uh-huh. That's what they yeah. call it. That's what they're going for. Yeah, that's what right. it's supposed to be. So a German got lost in Belgium. <laughs> have you been? I know Josh and I have, but Todd will go to Cologne and ask for an alt, and he'll Ooh. go to uh, <laughs> Dusseldorf and ask for a Kohl's. Yeah, he's, he's a troll. Not always, fight. He's a troll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got any IPAs here? Yeah, he's like shysa. <laughs> I'm I'm putting on the pants. You weren't wrong. It is hazy, <laughs> as noted on bottle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Choking on water. Sometimes I wonder if there have been people who've told me, I'm going to enter and I'm going to send you something that's so off style, but I'm going to take joy in you drinking it on camera. Make you I don't think it. this is, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if this is it, but I have had people who have said that and I'm, <clears throat> I wish I knew who they were. So I made sure they weren't in my group of judging. I mean, <laughs> hats off to you. They're, yeah, they're well done. Give that to Todd and James. Yeah. <laughs> but I haven't tried, to be fair again, I haven't tried this. It might be, it might be spot on for a Kolsch in regards to flavor. That's a good. It's not. No, it's not. Fine, Walsh. No. What do you think? Okay, let, assuming they didn't do this on purpose, let's talk about it. What? Okay. With the, with the hazing, like this was uh, fermentation temperature. This was the choice of yeast. I didn't like choice of yeast. Above, okay. Yeah, with the flocculation, I don't think you're getting the. Is it's not a clean no it's certain, of yeast at no, all. Certainly. It's, it's almost like you're seeing the yeast have a hole in there. Like a Hefeweizen or something would be. And I mean this in the nicest way possible, but it is like that that uh, dishwater uh, pit yeah, top. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, the people go for them, some of those hazy IPAs. Mm-hmm. Give it a try. Oh. Oh. Give me, give me words here. Uh, how dare you? Yeah. Exclamations are great, but <laughs> we need you to use your words. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, I have Todd try that one. Yep. <clears throat> well, let me finish this one. Okay. All right. I'll try. Are you still using it? I'm good. I'm good. No, you don't pass it down. I'm going to finish it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got a old rule ship it here. Uh, what is that? <laughs> I'm going to finish. This is a hazy coach. Yeah. It's um, a brand new style. To me, in my palate, it's simultaneously fruity and dull. It's dry. Like, I don't get a mouth coat from No, 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 it. I don't know. Is there a good attenuation there? No, I want to taste it. Oh, I it has this dull drop-off to me. I, I think like, that's... I always attribute that to hops. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 no, that would make sense. That would make total sense. I like, think that's phenols. Is that what we're what we're tasting? Let me look on my... See what our names here. say. Spicy, clove, smoky, plastic, adhesive strip. No, okay, maybe, maybe a little medicinal. Yeah. No. What style would you call it, though? Like, what, what makes it that... Uh, phenols. Mm-hmm. It was uh, fermentation. Uh, that's what's created. It's one of the way he, uh, too high of a temp. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you also get esters with that too, right? You can. It just depends on. Ball. It's a and it could be a uh, bad yeast too. But I I don't. There, there's a lot. The way Lorena explained it to me because that beer that I did, I had a lot of phenols. And it was mm-hmm. so bad that you couldn't drink it. <laughs> I'd dump it. And she was telling me that you know it could be. The yeast is bad. 
or in my case, I pressure ferment and I let that yeast propagate warm until it conical pressured up and then it quit, but there was just enough there to, to ruin the body. Yeah. So <laughs> when I do pressure fermentation, I know uh, Jonathan, which has been on the show quite a bit, he's very sharp. Yeah. Normally you can let, if you have the right yeast numbers and you have healthy yeast and all of that, you can let it rise to pressure, but I don't want to take the chance because yeah. that's all I do yeah. is pressure ferment. So I'll just take my, my gauge and CO2 once I pitch the yeast and everything and I'll put it about eight PSI. It's just mm-hmm. enough to keep it the pressure on the yeast cells and they don't create all flavors. Right. I'm telling them, I do love that you told us on the label what it is. <laughs> I'm not trying to pressure, pressure fermentation. I'll tell you, man, you, you can it. do, you okay. can pitch uh, L amounts of yeast mm-hmm. uh, as far as the pitch rate. Mm-hmm. It's just at room temperature. So, you know, when you're cold, it's slow and low. Mm-hmm. So you're going to pretty much double your yeast pitch right, amount. Right. But with pressure, because in the pressure fermentation keeps everything at bay, no phenols or anything like that. Yeah. Huh. Uh, it really works. And I like it. I mean, I've that already. That's all I've done on online marijuana. I've put two years on fermentation. Okay. We have Probably so many good beers. So 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 like I mean, you can do we do have a Brazilla under pressure. Mm-hmm. Damn, and I'm listening to Liv. Have me that. Yeah, we've uh, got the chiller and all of that equipment. Give me that Liv, James. Or Toth, I should say, over there. All right. No whiny dogs or what? This can't be. Oh, yeah, I don't like any more tops anywhere. Do you see them? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, sorry. I dropped one in here. Yeah. Damn it. You want me to grab it out of it? What? Oh, party towel. Todd, you want me to grab it out of it? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Can you hand us the top for me? Thank you, sir. <laughs> now we're going to try this one later and be like, it's this one well under carbonate. I don't even know. <laughs> All right, well, uh, what did Last you get, James? Time? What number are y'all on, James? Uh, we are 104. Is that our last one, James? We got another one, I think. Last, what are we at? 144. Ooh, 34. We got one more. Oh, man, my friend. That's our last one, you said? Yep, it is. Hell. Oh, that's pretty few. And about 90 minutes of recording time. This is yeah. Less than Boy, thank We you. are Ooh, so loud. We have had some oh, incredible. Man. Look at that. Oh, that, that is so pretty. That's that gorgeous. beautiful. I think he bought it. He bought it. He bought a damn car. Here, hold on. Hold it up again. That's so pretty. That is so good. Very nice. Yeah. Lovely, lovely color. You're right, Jen. Yeah. He went to the store. <laughs> yeah. Pour off the labels. Yep. Poured it in. That's what I would do if I was. Each. <laughs> and every yeah. one of them, right? Absolutely. <laughs> It's actually, well, it's so shallow. I told Pot, I'm just going to use homebrew happy hour money to make my own trophies. <laughs> line them up. We want them all. Yeah. yeah. I want them all. People, World champion. They're going to come in my office like, what did you win that for? Oh, you, I mean, it's a long story. Yeah. It's back when I started, you know, it's it's world champion. I'm basically the best. <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh my God. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Clearest one I've seen. And, and perfect color. Mm-hmm. But that is, how that can, is beautiful. How can it be that blonde and that clear? What did this sign? Lots of lagers. And the head retention. Yeah, it's a commercial beer. All right, disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> if it turns out, if this guy happens to place and then he admits to, yeah, I just went to the store and bought some uh, Rice Dwarf and uh, oh, some tea. Yeah. Lifetime ban. Oh, that's kind of a nice aroma. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, aroma. See, that's the aroma I want right there. I don't think C, too long. Yeah, sorry. I'm impressioning. <laughs> Here you go. No, no, it's not. Beat out it. Yeah, it no, oh like that's exact. Oh my god. Give me, please, give me words on this. This is a Yeah, this guy well, like, would have been wrong. Yeah. I mean, oh, so far, we taste it. So that would be hilarious if we taste it. It's like garbage. That would be, <laughs> that, that would be fun because the appearance is spot on. The aroma is spot on. Yeah, you get. A little yeast, hops, and malt. All oh, it's together. so balanced. But it's just, it's there, though. Like, there's no doubt. No, absolutely. You're right. If you've had this style a handful of times, you would not, when you smell that's this. A, that's yeah, a, that's a coach. No, I'm not. I'm getting that. 
Holshi. All right. Somebody, somebody, somebody there's, there's a ringer in here. There, yeah, he did. <laughs> That's really good. He re no, no, I'm That's telling really you, good. listen, our audience is full of liars and cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, yeah, and like I said, this, this is the Polish color and clarity I strive for. Yeah. Where wh yeah. whoever ends up winning this, because this might, you know, all, when all four of us judge top 10 tomorrow, assuming this one goes through, they may, we may find the second bottle to have some flaws or whatever. But assuming this one places, I would love to interview the top three about their process. Yeah. Because more people I'm talking to on Instagram and in the YouTube comments of our channel, are more people use gelatin than I thought hmm. you know, at the home really? level. Even a at a home level. Of, a ton of people do. Or to me, I'm like, man, that's just more work or it's more money. It's really it's not, really no, 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 no. I know that's what you told me. You were the first one. It's super easy to do. I like, used it at a homebrew level. Yeah. And it was really easy. Yeah. That's what Todd told me too recently where I was like, okay, maybe my pop and I can try that. Gosh, that's so good on the appearance. I haven't tasted it yet. What is that? I did actually use. In the probably last year, I've used a uh, clarifier that I'll add during primary fermentation. Oh, yeah, okay. And it eats a lot of the gluten out. Yeah. So it makes it gluten friendly. It is a wonderful product. Really? Yeah. Is, yeah. It, is it this that super clear or? Yeah, it's something like that. I'm trying to remember the name of it now, but it helped clarify a lot. It was kind of a clarifier, I guess, in and of itself. Bright and blonde. Which you don't hear those two words together often. No, not much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I just taste. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's saying there's a ringer. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this one. I'm not even going to pour more because I want those guys to. Well, hold on. Let me pour a little bit. Yeah. Right. It's got that bite at the end. Oh, my gosh. But not a stringent bite, just a good hot bite at the end. Oh, what are y'all on 104? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I put eleven oh four. My bad. Oh my gosh, this this guy works in Cologne. Yeah, he's a cheater. I'm trying to look for the label he peeled. Yeah. <laughs> We have some really good beers. I'm shocked at how good they are. Well, again, it makes me feel inadequate as a, a Polish <laughs> brewer. Yeah. This one especially, that is really good. But everybody's done really well. I mean, Everyone has. Yeah. No. Even the ones that we've dogged on or have been critical were not bad. Like, no. I, like those are still beers no, no. I would drink up at the yeah. pool and have a good time with. None of them I would turn down. The hazy one, no offense, whoever that was, is the closest one I turned down. That's if you life. told me it was a Kolsch, yeah. I'd be like, you're a liar. No, it's not. You said it's a beer? Yeah. It's a beer. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's a beer. It's drinkable. It's a beer. Yep. I wonder if anybody uh, did actually, like, find a crew and put it in a bottle. Dude, but... after y'all are done, you're trying this. No. Are you trying now? Well, it's very mild. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love it. It's a good, it would be, that would be a good example of a session course. Yeah. Oh, I bet you're right. It's probably pretty low, even lower than standard. I mean, to style in the BJCP, what is it? Four to five point five. Let me see. Here, pull them some. Pull a little bit more. Y'all have one more too. Oh, that's good. I just. Oh. Uh, nice smell. No, that's my kind of culture right there. I love that one. I don't really care for that. I'm kidding. Ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming down. I knew it was like, fear an idiot. <laughs> mm. Well, I noticed certain new ones. Here you go, Jay. Oh, we have another one? Uh, yeah, I got yeah. you again. Oh, God. What is your, what is your last number, James? What is your last number? Is yours? This is mine. No. What is your last number? Uh, uh, 114. 114? All right. Good to end on me. Yeah, we ended up. Oh, I know. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they already tried it. We could keep doing that.
We're getting trolled, dude. This guy bought it. He he just sent us in. <laughs> you know the at least we didn't dog it. Like, oh, that's horrible. That's oh, yeah, that would have been funny. Oh. You know what? This is actually garbage. Yeah, uh, it's a dog. I can't believe you sent that in. Yeah, one forty four. Shame on you. Why? Why did send us more? Handling for them. Oh uh, well, alleged. So my buddy who runs for flood distributors said they're bringing they are bringing it back to Texas. Hmm. Oh, okay. They, it should be in like the stores. Week. Yeah, you found it. I know. Yeah, I looked for it. I'm getting, getting ready for this. It's in a four pack, huh. and it's a bigger. It's like a tall boy. Yeah, that's what they started distributing here now. But it's not fruit. It's uh, it's another well, ga- so a gaffle, cone called gaffle rice dwarf and fruit. Almost only distribute. Uh, I think it's rice dwarf. Yeah, they almost all only do sixteen ounce cans now. Huh? Over here. I guess they think that's that's the audience for here. Yeah, maybe so. Bigger men need bigger yeah. beer. I don't know. I'm saying this, that dude. Did you send us a commercial beer? <laughs> yeah. Let me see. What's your matter? Oh, All right. What, uh, with my calculator, Jim or Wes and I are finished. Mm-hmm. And you already put yours on the uh, thing, Wes, in the pile? In the pile. They're both in the pile. In the in pile. The pile. <gasps> well, James and I are done. Uh, pardon me, Wes and I are done. You and James are on your last one, right? Yep. yep. Perfect. I'm going to 114. I'm going to finish off, uh, this one, as I now move the camera over. Wait a minute, is that the really good one? Yeah. Shouldn't you be sharing that with everybody? I thought you had some. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's, see, that's beautiful. Y'all are ending on a high note, too. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Your dog didn't really think that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's shaking over there. She's a little needy. I poured. I, I just <laughs> put the glass upside down. Oh, they're not wonderful. Well, that was pretty. Wow. Let me make sure. Look at the head retention. Yeah, it's amazing. Audio is coming through. Good. It is. Let me. Yeah, we just get to. This one's easy, right? right? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, dude. That was a great first day. Uh huh. Very nice. Man, that's so good. I have to look up the spreadsheet to see who that was because. There are people in our audience who would troll me. Oh, <laughs> no doubt. What you do? This is probably one of my favorites right there. This is, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Excuse you. We need to do we need, do we need to add these up? Oh, you know what? I would love for you to do that. Please. Yeah. I just pulled the corners as you Yep. <laughs> what what a jerk <laughs> Todd why can't you just play by the rules dude <laughs> I, I read the rules I hate <laughs> you man I'll, you told me to I know, but, hey, the rules James, when you're doing it round down because that's what I'm doing hey, round down to the whole number <laughs> yes round down to the whole number I'm not letting you change the, the parameters of, if, there's, if there's a time let me consult the rules no 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 let me consult the rules. I told you verbally <laughs> beforehand <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't I'm know. What, Vernal, I, no, yes, I'll you, change. Yes, you do. I'm telling you, I'll round down. 
Wow, we were miles apart on that. Pretty close on most of these. Have we been? Do we have yeah. a stapler? Mm-hmm. Todd, you have a safe one? I'm doing the old folding bin method. 86.5. Hold on, no, sh- yeah. Oh, you didn't say the number, though. Okay. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, nobody knows no what I'm looking at. Yeah. <laughs> Todd, are you, or Todd are, you, are you done judging that? What? What's how far off y'all are? <laughs> that, that, <laughs> Todd, I'm wrapped. Yeah, you write when you write. I'll I'll do the I'll be the bad guy. We'll but you do it on me to round down. No, no, no. Do what do what his decimal is. That's perfect. <laughs> I want the real score. That way, when someone goes, why didn't I make it the day? Josh is going to cheat somebody out of victory. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to cheat somebody, <laughs> and it's a clear violation of the rules that he wrote. Okay. I just want to say. By that. the time this publishes, I'm going to change the rules, my friend. <laughs> I'm <real. laughs> Okay. Mm. That's all for good. I like that one. Dude, we yeah, have so good. many good. Okay, so are y'all done? All yep. right. We are going to be right back as we tally up this stuff and uh come back with your top ten to who made it to day two. So in the meantime. Um, enjoy some beautiful, lovely polka music. All right, is that the... Here we go. Let me put it back on the screen there. There we are. We have, uh, yeah, oh yeah. He's like, but this one got 144 points. Uh, we have our top 10. We are officially, we have tallied up the score. We got the top 10, and in no particular order at all, going into the final day two, we have KC119, KC102, KC101. KC105 with a decimal on it. Way to go. Uh, KC113 also with the decimal. Uh, KC116. KC114. KC120. KC128. And KC144. Congratulations to the team. You are moving on to day two. And uh, the finals, like like today, they'll be recorded. I think we're gonna start at eleven a.m. Y'all are cool with that, right? Get an early day of drinking in, and then we're all together judging the top ten, and then we'll decide our grand champion winner. We had some phenomenal cultures today. What are some closing thoughts, James? What do you think about today's entries? Absolutely awesome. Um, it's a good cult cup, right? Yeah, there was like three that stood out that made me feel inferior. <laughs> <laughs> now, welcome to my world it's every day, does. dude. Yeah. 
Wes, what did you think about this year compared to, because you've been a Coach Cup judge with us. This is your third year now. It is three years in a row now. Yeah. No, I think if on the, it's as strong this year, if not stronger than ever. Like they were, he was saying those at least two. I did yeah. that. They were so good. Strong this year. They're almost yeah. like, hold that one up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you fake yeah. that. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> Just we're not, we're yeah, yeah. You bought at the store. Just wink, wink, nod, nod. It's just jealousy, guys. Don't it's just, that. That. <laughs> Todd, can you just be that last? Like, the guy can't use his thumbs. That's ridiculous. Anyways, thank you for joining us on day one. We sincerely appreciate you joining us. And uh, come back to youtube.com forward slash homebrew happy hour tomorrow. I don't know, or around 2 or 3 p.m. I, I actually muted his uh, mic so that no one can hear him. All they see on the screen is, I like turtles. Anyway, youtube.com forward slash homebrew happy hour tomorrow. Uh, We should have this up by 2 p.m., maybe 3 p.m., depending on the upload speed. But either way, we sincerely appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And guys, thank you all for coming, and I'll see you all tomorrow.